geometry properties. When I pick on an object and I right click and go to properties, we have a section that's all about the geometry of the object. We can change many of these things. So if I want to change where the center X and Y is, I can come over here to change these types of things and say, oh, let's go up to 40, for example, and the object moves up. I can change the diameter. Let's say I want to go to 60, and the object gets bigger. Some of the things that are tied to other objects, such as the area is tied to the radius, etc. So there are certain things we can't change, but certain things we can about a geometry. Um, if we come over here and pick on a different object, you'll see we get different geometry about the things. Uh, in this case, let's go down and take a look. We cannot change the length and angle. I mean, we can change some of these things, but not all of them all the time. For example, we come in here and say, I want to have the start of this thing being at 0, comma 0. Okay? And then some of the deltas, how much it's changed, uh, will change for us automatically. So, therefore, you can change a lot of things on the fly using your geometry settings while you have the, this up and you can see the values right off the bat. So, you know, if I said, well, hmm, the length of the line uh, is 240, well, you know, maybe I just wanted it to be exactly 240, and I can come over here and say, ah, there we go. That's what I really intended as, a, as the length to be 240 units long.